As crews work to try to restore that service, there are a lot of questions tonight about how this started in the first place. And it's something our News Channel 3's reporter Curtis Johnson has been digging into, investigating, and Curtis, a lawsuit's now been filed, and the governor's office is calling for action. Sarah, the governor's office now directing the State Public Service Commission to initiate an investigation, saying this will not get swept under the rug and disappear without answers. Day six without heat, a warm shower, or a place to cook at one's home. The story for hundreds of natural gas customers on Charleston's west side. And with each passing day, the call for answers grows louder. What do you hope comes from this lawsuit? Number one, accountability. These folks want to make sure that the people responsible for this, the, the corporations, the giant corporations responsible for this, fix the system and it doesn't happen again. That attorney filing a lawsuit against Mountaineer Gas and West Virginia American Water. A gas company executive telling us Tuesday, before news of that lawsuit, a water main break forced itself into the gas line flooding the system and leading to the outage. I have never seen the magnitude of water that has gone through a system of this nature. West Virginia American Water confirming to WSAZ Tuesday that a water main break happened Friday on the west side. But beyond that, would only say they are unable to provide comment regarding assumptions or speculation on how the gas outage may have occurred. So I reached out again Wednesday asking, is West Virginia American Water investigating if that main break resulted in water from your company entering Mountaineer gas lines, resulting in the outage? And did damage resulting from a water main break Friday cause West Virginia American to send any notification to Mountaineer Gas Company? West Virginia American would not answer either of those questions, only saying we will continue to communicate with and support the city of Charleston's efforts to assist residents. However, West Virginia American is unable to provide comment on matters of litigation. The governor declaring a state of emergency Wednesday afternoon, directing the Public Service Commission to initiate a full investigation into the cause of the outage and hold the responsible parties accountable. Before that announcement from the governor, I reached out to the Public Service Commission, a spokesperson telling me, while the agency has no independent verification of a cause, the head of its gas pipeline division is following the situation and updating commissioners. While crews work to restore service to the hundreds without, the lawsuit claims this all could have been prevented, that West Virginia American should have known the water main was failure prone, and Mountaineer Gas failed to take adequate precautions to prevent the ingress of water from a ruptured water main. There's elderly people. There's folks that uh, have have uh, health difficulties, uh, have children present that are trying to figure out how to keep them warm and keep them fed. And it's time that, that this be fixed and it needs to be fixed overall. It should have never occur. Sarah, right now, that lawsuit represents just one West Side resident. The attorney's hoping to gain class action status and represent all 1,100 customers. All right, thank you, Curtis. And we did reach out to Mountaineer Gas again after that lawsuit was filed to see if they have a response to the allegations, but they say now they can't comment on pending litigation. We also reached back out to the PSC since the governor directed them to be the ones to investigate, but we also haven't heard back there either.